Now at 7, Chopper 4 is high above a nursing home in Dania Beach where some residents had to be evacuated after residents say the power went out. What's worse than no AC is this heat as some people are infected with COVID. CBS 4's Joel Waldman is live from the nursing home. And Joel, was there not a generator that should have put power back on? News of a power outage travels fast at the residence at Dania Beach. Yes, I did hear about it out here. I, I was outside. On a day when temperatures were in the 90s and the heat index close to 105, workers at this assisted living facility had a hustle to get their 113 residents into areas of the building where there was still power and air conditioning. First, our electricity went out. Right, that's what he's talking about. Our electricity went out and then they hoarded us into one little Room There's another building in the back. Residents Robin Cher and Sherry Rizzola tell us they do not believe the backup generator for their part of the building was working. Do you know if the building has generators and were they working at the time the power nope. went out? They we weren't. Have a generator. It wasn't. I think there's one. We have a generator, but it was not working no. when the power went off. Your generator did not work? No, it didn't. We knocked on the front door, but no one answered. Particularly troubling since nursing homes and assisted living facilities are now required by law to have backup generators which cool to 81 degrees for at least 96 hours. A law State Senator Gary Farmer helped pass after the 2017 catastrophe at the Hollywood Hills nursing home where power was out for days and several residents died. You know, the folks in there uh, basically were cooked uh, to death. And uh, you know, we, we saw uh, the danger of a situation where nursing homes and assisted living, living facilities are, are without power for extended periods of time. The lack of power coupled with another scare involving roughly 13 COVID positive patients who were reportedly quarantined in a section of the facility where there was no power. They had to be moved to nearby Memorial Hospital in Hollywood. And just a few moments ago, some uh, residents appear to be coming back in uh, on stretcher back to this uh, residence. Meanwhile, the residents we spoke to tell us that power was out for close to three hours and they had to go to a friend's room at a different part of the building where there was still air conditioning. Reporting live from Dania Beach, Joel Waldman, CBS 4 News.